So let's get back the recap. Good morning, Kesha. Good morning, Antia. Good morning, Antia. Okay, so let's. Okay, Mandar. Good morning, Shardul. So, first. <clears throat> Let's recap whatever we have gone through in this complete month so that it will tell us that what are the different points which we have covered right? and what needs to be uh, covered, right? where you should pay your attention where you have paid your attention right so that is the case so i think on 1st of june we have started it right uh, yes that that will be happening right i will be uh, putting some of the questions so that uh, it will be always keeping you in act uh, in the in the action or active okay. so we have started on first of june and then and then we have started by saying that we are going for the ndf foundation course okay. so in that particular case in the very first lecture or the first session what we have considered so we we thought that we should mm -hmm. be always result oriented right so uh, nda uh, nda is nothing but a result oriented uh, let's say competitive exam and therefore you should always have reason oriented competitive skills right which will be consisting the systematic approach conceptual and analytical skills right confidence and the strong grief over the concepts so these were the different points which we have highlighted in the very first session that's so always keep in mind result oriented competitive skills so whatever what we we have to have right i will be writing the headlines result oriented competitive skills Right. So <clears throat> this this includes systematic approach, conceptual and analytical skills, confidence, and a strong grip over the concept. So these are the five different points which we have uh, considered. Now, in this particular case, we have also considered in order to commit the success, you have to prepare academically, you have to have a competitive uh, preparation and as well as training. Right, but in this, uh, I said on that very first day that in this pandemic, you you are uh, currently only having two things: academic and competitive. Right, so the part of training is not, uh, or you are you are still not exposed to the part of training. But whenever you will be joining the academy at that time, that third part is also going to start. If someone is doing by yourself. At home, some some sort of training. I'm mean, I'm talking about the physical training, whether it is exercise, yoga, or meditation, any kind of right. So that would be the thing. Now, second point which we have gone was a syllabus, right?
Bueno. Okay, so I mean, don't worry about it. It is going to be uh, revised in this particular format. Right, so we have uh, second point we have considered in the very first lecture was syllabus. You know, basically, Okay, second option was also there, fine. So we have two papers, mathematics one and general liability test paper mm -hmm. one. So in general liability, again, there are two parts, part A for English, which is for 200 marks of five questions, uh, 50 questions, and part B, which is of uh, 400 marks for 100 questions. Further, the, uh, the part B is being divided into six different subsections. Physics, 25% of 100 marks, 25 questions. Chemistry, 15%. General science, 10%. History, uh, including quality and <coughs> culture, as well as economic science or economy, 20%. Geography, including map reading, 20%. And the current affairs, 10%. So this was the first lecture or the first session. On second session, we have uh, thought about a sort of current affairs. So in that case, we have uh, considered some of the findings. For example, we have considered an example of World Happiness Report 2020. Right. So, uh, in that particular case, where we do stand, right? And what about the uh, publication of this particular World Happiness Report, right? So that was the case which we can. And we have also considered uh, where the uh, where India is standing, where the Pakistan is there, where Nepal is there, or the other Asia, uh, Asian countries, or the neighbors of of us, where uh, having what kind of ranking in this report. And uh, in this particular case, again, we have considered the system of medicine, right? such as Ayurveda, Yunani, uh, Siddha Yoga, Naturopathy, Homeopathy, Allopathy. Right? So these are the different things which we have uh, considered in that particular case. Right? So in, in, in this also, we have considered a, I think, sample questions, right? What kind of questions are there from different topics, right? For the current science, the uh, World Happiness Report 2020 considered. For general science, we have considered cholera, malaria, right? So how these disease get spread, right? So that we have considered. And then about physics, chemistry, and general science. Overall, we thought that achievements of scientists, right? Then uh, for history, uh, what, what we will focus, what we should focus on while preparing, right? So for physics, chemistry, and general science, achievements of the scientists. For history, uh, we have to have a good, uh, we have to go through the culture and the civilization. And for geography, we have to always look for shape, size, latitudes and longitudes, right? So these are the, some of the points which we have considered as far as uh, the second lecture is concerned, right? So uh, what I can write here, the demo questions or examples.
what kind of examples are there then we have started i think in third the armed forces structure armed forces structure so in this case we have seen all the three armed forces structure right army navy air force what what is the army which is land based branch then uh, what is the navy right what is the air force what are their mission and vision right that we have uh, considered then we have considered the ranks right uh, for army air force and navy we have also in between considered the uh, the field marshal the ceremonial rank then we have also considered the uh, marshal of air force and admiral of the fleet which is vacant and apart from these three we have also considered the serious which is newly uh, indulged uh, rank in, in the indian armed forces then we have gone through the different commands seven di seven different commands for army uh, five different commands for navy then seven different commands for the uh, air force right so that has taken uh, lecture third fourth fifth and uh, so third fourth and fifth right so here ranks commands right ceremonial ranks and serious so all together these are the things which we have considered right in sixth session we have considered organization of the command organization of commands so what what is the organization of the command so you know there are seven different parts which we have, you can consider section platoon company battalion brigade division and the last one is corps right so in that way we have considered it in in the uh, i think on that day i have also uh, made you uh, or i have introduced you to the difference between yellow sea and lac right so that is the case which you can consider so we have also uh, consider the different parts of army such as combat and services right then how they are further divided into different things and what are the different 15 uh, services for example army medical corps army service corps army dental corps uh, military uh, farms corps army education corps likewise different such as uh, military department of nursing services right so these are the different uh, services which we have considered then uh, we have in the 7th and the 7th and 8th commands of navy and air force right then in eighth session we have uh, started defense training institutions defense training institutions right then in this case we have started by uh, rashtriya indian military college army cadet college nga officers training academy ima right so these are the different things which we have considered i think uh, that was continued on uh, 9th as well right where we have particularly considered the uh, criteria to enter into ima officer training academy chennai right then depending on the ncc c certificate best the direct entry then indian naval academy right uh, cds uh, cds exams which we can consider so along with the uh, educational qualifications as well as the uh, physical qualifications that we have considered in that particular case right 
whether uh, married or unmarried can be allowed that that part we have also considered right so these are the uh, points which we have considered in eighth and ninth session in tenth session we have started gallantry awards right we go and just exploring you through whatever we have considered it is important that how much you can uh, remember it how much you, you have understood it and how much you can uh, comprehensively use whenever wherever required right for your effective communication so in this gallantry awards we have uh, started by paramvir chakra the highest decoration of the valor right valor is nothing but the great courage then mahavir chakra veer chakra ashok chakra kirti chakra shaurya chakra uh yes we 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 can right that is the uh, best way to get a very good kind of uh, feedback and that feedback or uh, that uh, question answers uh, will be will be letting me know how much we have prepared right and apart from the these uh, six different chakras we have also considered uh, three other Uh, medals which are called param vishishta seva medal ati vishishta seva medal and vishishta seva medal right that we have considered in that uh, particular session that is in in the in the 10th of uh, session then we have uh, considered the in the next session i think it was about the states and capitals states and capitals right so 28 different states and uh eight union territories by capital Right by number, there are nine union territories. Fine. So in this case, we have considered, I think, uh, not only capitals of each of these states, but but also the uh, chief ministers of uh, these respective states. We have also considered. Right. So that that is the case which we have uh, considered in the eleventh session. Then. <coughs> if you consider the i think 11th and 12th session right so particularly in, in 12th session we have considered the territories right so union territories particularly then we have also considered in this uh, particular case the number of seats for rajya sabha as well as lok sabha right so in the, in the parliament uh, how the number of seats are there and how they are divided right see it is not a it is not for the question will not be asked that which of the country uh, which of the state will is having so and so uh, state uh, so and so seat reserved for which of the following castes so Question will not be have uh, will not be asked on that particular point, but it is for your own understanding, right? That how the representation of each of the uh, each of the sections of the society are there, right? So that we have considered. Then uh, the next point we have considered here was, I think. Thirteenth of the session, and that is, I guess, Indian polity and constitution. Yes, right. So, in thirteenth, Indian 
quality and constitution right so here we uh, here we have started basically by a term called political science right then how it is being and then uh, we have gone through a uh, different kinds of names or the uh, great uh, great political thinkers right and how they have written their political thoughts in the books right and what what is the uh, first political thinker of uh, india right the, who is the first political thinker of india and how he has uh, drafted his uh, political thinking in a, in a form of book right so that we have also considered then uh, later to that who was there who has also written his political views in a in a form of book right? that we have considered then how the republic of india uh, is a union of the states right which is also known as the bharat ganaraj right it is nothing but what kind of government uh, what type of government india is having right so <laughs> i leave here two questions who was the first political thinker of india and second is what type of government india is having right yes mandar that's great Okay, Samin, that's fine. Don't you think that it is a uh, sovereign socialist, secular democratic? Yes, I think Mandar got it. Right, so a sovereign socialist, secular, democratic, parliamentary system with the parliamentary system. Yes, that kind of government we do have. right then how the government is being governed right and you know it is by the constitution anyway the first question's answer is manu and he has a book of law called manusmati right uh, next question what uh, what is the book written or uh, drafted by the kautilya chanakya name of the book written by the chanakya which is also a great uh, sort of political thinking akshay it is not chanakya niti mandar yes it is arthashastra right so chanakya's political thinking is in the arthashastra then the title of that book is arthashastra yes i mean that's good right so we have a considered the administrative divisions yes yes that is he uh, here i am not checking checking your spelling right i wanted to have the course anyway then we have also seen in that particular session about the council of ministers and you know the council of ministers for states as well as the council of ministers for the country and in this particular case if you consider uh, again in states there will be a governor right and the constitution will distribute the legislative powers between parliament and the state legislatures so that is the features right offered by the or uh, that are the some of the things which are uh, offered by the constitution fine so which has a which has a provision of independence of autonomy of judiciary cag uh, public service commission chief election commission right so these are the points which we have considered in that particular session that is mostly related to constitution then in the next i think here we have seen something uh, 
out of box right that uh, i think i have i have started that particular session by saying that nda is not a is not a job opportunity it is a way of life right so you have to look uh, towards your preparations by the way of life not an uh, not not an not a, a considering an opportunity right though it is but it is nothing but the way of your life right so what kind of right uh, what kind of strategy you should have in that particular case right so that we have considered strategy so in this strategy i think by and large we have considered the uh, sort of syllabus which we which we have already uh, considered and but here uh, thoroughly we have thought what kind of things are there right i think uh, along with the vacancies for uh, nda and how these vacancies are split for ima efa and uh, ina right so that uh, kind of thing then in general we have uh, started the uh, uh, we have started looking into the nature of the question uh, papers and how the questions are divided in, in, into different sections for example how many questions will be asked on history right if we analyze the previous questions uh, question papers then we will come across uh, the number of probable number of questions asked on each of these sections like for example geography is always having around 15 to 18 questions right then uh, history is always having around uh, 12 to 15 questions like likewise so these are the things which we can consider right so that we have thought one most important thing which we have considered in this session that was you should always aim at least 450 marks right so you uh, you should always aim greater than 450 marks right so that you will definitely get that is i am asking for the written examination right for ssb it will you again